Now this is the Xtool Metal Fab CNC machine, but not only does it do CNC laser cutting, but it also does laser rust removal, it's a laser welder, and it's a freehand laser cutter. The Metal Fab is an all-in-one laser and CNC cutter, available in 800 watt and 1200 watt laser configurations. Built to weld, cut and clean a range of ferrous and non-ferrous metals with smart automated features and industrial durability. And this little beast is the X-Tool F2 Ultra single laser. This compact desktop 60 watt Mopa fiber laser engraver has a 220 by 220 millimeter work area and up to 15,000 milliseconds engraving speed. It has autofocus and dual 48 megapixel cameras for ultra precise positioning. Right, so as we build some unique one-off custom cars, we want to change the standard badges that come with it. Now this is a standard Datsun 260 badge and it's made of plastic. Now what we want to do is we want to make this and keep the identity of the car, but we want to make it out of something special. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use brass and we're gonna cut it on the metal fab, which does all non-ferrous alloys, and we're gonna emboss it on the F2 Ultra, or at least we're gonna try. Now, obviously the first thing we've gotta do is get a piece of brass out of the metal fab the right size. So all we're gonna do is measure the original badge and we're gonna cut it to the exact right dimensions. The laser options for the metal fab are 800 watt and 1200 watt. This is a 1200 watt version and both feature smart dual cameras, smart nesting, vibe free cut, flexi track and obstacle free systems to improve cut quality and reliability. Now once you've fired up the Xtool Studio program, the first thing you have to do is install your device in the top right hand corner. Now I've got mine connected via Wi-Fi, but you can use USB and Ethernet as well. Now both the F2 Ultra and the Metal Fab turn up here, but for this part of the project, we just want the Metal Fab. Now once you've refreshed your screen, it gives you an image for easy placement of your project, but this can easily be removed by right-clicking and removing the background. Then all I need to do is draw a rectangle with the right dimensions. Then in this panel, once we've checked the Metal Fab is ready, we then work down this right-hand side. Now I'm not going to go over these settings here, but it is very simple. And once that's done, you just calibrate the active sensor so it knows where the metal is and you're almost ready to go. You then click process and set the laser height. Now once that's done, you're ready to press start and get cut in. Now this is 3mm brass and in real time it hasn't been sped up at all. And it is that easy, absolutely nothing to it. Whole process took me 5 minutes. Now, as there's hardly any dross on the back of that, it's, it's absolutely minimal and the edges are very clean, they just need tidying up a little bit. Um, apparently with nitrogen, it's a lot cleaner, there's virtually nothing at all and your edges are a little bit cleaner, but we're just using compressed air, it's cheaper. So all we're going to do is I'm going to lay some 180 flat on a bench and I'm just going to scuff it up, rub those edges and make it all nice and smooth. Take me two minutes. And that's it, two minutes and it's clean. And the measurements are absolutely bang on. 
as the software is so simple when we finish that we don't even need to close it we just plus on a new one we go straight up to the top where it shows what tool we have loaded two machines that are on my Wi-Fi now I'm going to connect to this so I'll switch so we've got the metal fab open up here and we've now got the ultra loaded here all I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image now this image all I did was I fed in a picture of this and then I told AI what to do with it I told it to make the background black the writing white and put a white border around the 260Z and that's what it came up with right so I've got this little square bracket this keeps things really nice and square on your board it does screw in um, I'm going to use this and we'll show you how you can still focus your laser even though your metal is not underneath it now as you can see it this focus needs to see the height of this metal but because your focus is in this center point and you can't get it on there because your next one's too low what I do is I just get a similar thickness piece of metal now put that there you can see that red and blue dot need to be overlapping to get that focus so all you do is you use the arrows on the keypad just so those dots become one and that's all you need to do then it's back over to the computer to do the rest all we need to do is reference this size 17 by 16 and select the Datsun badge again and in here put 117 by 16 and that will redo our badge for us it'll resize it sorry so then all we need to do is up here is auto measure and that will also give us our image and we should see our piece of brass turn up just here there we go then all we need to do is position that on there so that it gives us a little bit better idea now you do have to set your process up here to embossment down the bottom here but once you've done that you then work through all these settings on the right hand side we'll not go into that just yet in this video but I'll flash my settings up on the screen here once all those processes are correct you then click on process in the bottom right hand corner and it's back over to the machine now before you head back over to the machine you do have to click start it's then just a case of removing your focus material popping the top down and as you can see on here it's now ready and then we just press the button And there we have it that took about one hour and 25 minutes and it looks absolutely fantastic but let's chuck some blacking on it and give it a rub with some wire wool and a little bit of sandpaper now after rubbing for about two minutes on some 180 grit sandpaper just to clean the surface up and then pour on some brass blacking it's only cheap off of ebay for about three quid then let it sit for five minutes and after that dab it off and back to the 180 to clean the surface up again now because the background ends up being really dark black you do have to take a bit of wire wool to scuff it up just to bring a bit of that brass back through
Now you have to admit that is a vast improvement on that original plastic badge. If you want more information about the X-Tool F2 Ultra or the Metal Fab, don't forget to click the link in our description below to grab yourself a fantastic discount. That's it for this video guys. As you can see, the x Metal Fab and the x F2 Ultra are very, very powerful, but also very easy to use. So great for hobbyists and industries alike. I mean, this thing can cut through six millimeter steel and the F2 Ultra can engrave things like coins and even do color marking on stainless steels. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like and smash that subscribe button. Until then, we will see you in the next one. Thank you.